Okay, hello everybody. Thank you for joining today. This is Kelly Ronan. I uh, work at Pearson and I'll be uh, giving the presentation today. So thank you so much for giving up your really precious time. We know what it's like uh, in, this, in this time that we are living in. So I just wanted to let you know, so I'm going to be keeping an eye on the chat. Uh, I also have my colleague Haley on the call with me today as well, and she'll be keeping an eye on the chat. So as we go through today's presentation, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to either send them to us in the chat, the questions, or uh, feel free to unmute your own microphone and ask the question out loud. That's, of course, allowed. Uh, we will ask you to otherwise keep your microphone on mute so that we don't have any background noise and distraction. So let me just uh, get my screen started up properly here. I'll share what I wanted to share and uh, we'll get started in just another minute. I'm just, there's still a few people joining the meeting, so I'm just uh, waiting another minute or so. Okay. So hopefully everybody can hear me okay and is seeing my screen. I'm sharing the Pearson uh, website at the moment uh, because this is the place I did want to start. Um, I do, we're joining, we're gathering today, we are gathered here today um, to talk about uh, EcoPro and Moreso, which are, are our FSL resources for, uh, depending on, um, Oh, I guess, sorry, everybody's from Toronto here. So uh, these are the resources for grades four, five, and six. That's EcoPro. And Moreso is for grades seven and eight. It, it covers different grades if you're in different provinces. Okay, so I do want to let everybody know right from the start that Pearson is providing free access right now during this uh, work from home, learn from home time that we're in, we're providing free access to almost all of our textbooks for students. So uh, I did want to start off by showing this to you uh, right at the start. So on our website, which is pearsoncanadaschool.com, you'll see it here in the URL, uh, we do have, if you scroll down a little ways, we do have an area here called open access. So if you just uh, click on the learn more button under the open access, you get taken to a page that explains everything that we're doing during this stay at home period that we're in. So uh, we do have some information here about permissions policy of how you can use our uh, resources a little bit differently where we're sort of relaxing the copyright rules a little bit here. So we give you some information right here under temporary usage. And then we have here listings of all of our classroom resources for teachers and parents. And we have some professional learning resources for teachers. So all of these, all of these lists here are links to free content essentially. So what I wanted to show you specifically today was this first item in the, the, the top of the list here. It says open access to PDF versions of uh, trusted Pearson textbooks. So if you click on that link, it takes you to our partner, uh, Cavuto, who is hosting for us all of our, almost all of our textbooks that we've published over the years. So you can see them here as I scroll. They're listed by grade here on the left, as well as by subject. So you can uh, search by using either the grade or the subject. So I'm gonna click on FSL, French as a second language, while I'm here, um, and show you that we've put up for free for all of your students access to our EcoPro 1, 2, and 3 titles, as well as Mon Réseau Ma Vie 1 and 2, as well as Point de Connexion, which is our grade nine FSL program. So we've put up all of our textbooks for grades four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So students can come here. They do need to register with Cavuto, with our partner who's hosting this. Um, so once they've registered, they need to use uh, an email address in order to register. They can 
uh, pick and choose the titles that they want for free and they quote unquote purchase these titles. It's a free purchase. The cost is zero dollars, but Cavuto does otherwise in, in different times. They do sell their product, our products. So uh, that's why their, their button is called purchase, but it's free. So this is how students right now can have access to PDFs of all of these titles and, and any others that you see on our list here. I'm just showing you the FSL titles because that's what we're here to talk about today. Okay, so that was the first thing I did want to start off with showing you um, because that's pretty important during this stay at home time. So I'll just leave those websites open. That's our Pearson Canada School website and our Cavuto partner website who is hosting our free textbooks. Kelly, can I just quickly uh, step in with, a, I have a couple questions from um, uh, FSLs here. Yes, yes, um, sure, Haley. Hi. There's audio, audio included with the student modules we've opened access to. Oh, that's a great question, and thank you. Yeah, and Haley, if you don't mind, you, you're more than welcome to jump in anytime if you're keeping an eye on the chat um, with questions. And of course, anyone is welcome to jump in anytime with questions. Um, yeah, so no, so what we're providing here for free uh, through our open access website are PDFs. So we have not included any audio or video or games or songs or anything interactive. It's strictly the pages of the student texts. In, in PDF format. So that's a great question. Thanks for clearing that up. Uh, there's another question. <laughs> sure. Um, can they copy and paste um, into Google Classroom these resources? So uh, no, because these resources are password protected, for students to open them, they need to log in with the password that they created when they registered with Cavuto. Um, so you don't there's you don't you can't send it to them in any way there's no copying and pasting or uh, there's no URLs that you can share so students would need to just go to the website log in and see their content and you can through Google Classroom you can send them instructions you know I I'd like you to turn to page four or five and read this or you know you can send instructions through Google Classroom but they need to go to the site and log in and open their own textbooks each individually. I just uh, want to also state, because we're getting some questions about copyright and mm -hmm. um, reading the text and recording themselves reading the text. Yes, that, yeah. If you want to record yourself reading the text, that's fine. And we also do have um, a temporary permissions page that we've set up. And I, when I do my follow-up, I will send an email to everyone and I will attach this permissions PDF so you know exactly um, what uh, guidance we have provided for you. Yes, those are these are excellent questions. I love having these questions. It shows that people are thinking about how can they use this right now. So reading, uh, making a video of yourself or an audio recording of yourself, reading um, the text is definitely allowed. Uh, it's not against copyright, um, but there is a uh, there's a big but that you do need to send it to your students in a protected way. So you can't just put that recording up on an open website, like maybe you have a classroom website or your school has a website. Um, it needs to be password protected. So if you're sending it to them over email, that's fine because they need to log in to open their email. Um, or if you're sending it through Google Classroom, as long as they need to log in to access it, all of that is fine. It just can't be out in the open where everybody could have access to it. So how are we for questions, Haley? Should I keep going or do you want to start off with some quick questions off the top? Uh, no, uh, please keep going. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, thank you. This is great. I love having a partner online with me. This is wonderful. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is start off spending a few minutes showing you the online version of Echo Pro, uh, which is, this is the purchased version, version that teachers uh, have access to. So this is not the free PDFs of the student books that I was just showing you. That's PDFs. This is a whole online platform that is purchasable, um, that is for teachers. Of course, after this uh, 
period that we're in when we when we get to a normal <laughs> situation again. Uh, so let's just hope that it's September. Let's just say September. Um, you can purchase student access to this exact same platform that I'm showing you right now. Um, but we just sort of assume you're not purchasing anything for students uh, in the months of May and June and that you will take advantage of our free resources for students. Um, so what I'm showing you now is for teachers. It has teacher content as well as student uh, digital content. So I'm just going to show you ICOPRO 1, but you should know that, and so this is for grade 4, but you should know that the exact same platform is used for ICOPRO 2 and 3, which is grades four and five, uh, 5 and 6, excuse me. So I'm just going to use ICOPRO 1 as a demonstration. So what we've done is we've taken the pages of the student modules. You can see them here on the left where my mouse is hovering. Module 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we've taken the literacy modules, which are uh, livre, livre 1, 2, et 3, and uh, Livre 4, which is, a, is Eco Magazine. It's a magazine. So we've taken all of those modules and literacy titles, and we've put them here in this platform. So depending on what you want to open, you can use this left-hand folder structure to navigate. So if I want to open module one, I just click the arrow. And then these are all the pages that are part of module one. So I can just scroll and, and jump directly to where I want to go. So the first one is Explorant. That's the first text in module one. So when I click it, you can see that it loads in the page here. I can switch it over to two page view by clicking uh, the icon in the top toolbar. And now what you're looking at is the left hand and the right hand page in a spread. So I'll, you can use the scroll bar to scroll down to the bottom, or you can use the magnifying glass to zoom in or zoom out, uh, depending on what you're doing. So presumably if you're in class, uh, you know, come September, um, and you're projecting this at the front, say, you have your computer hooked up to a projector and a screen and you're projecting this, you might want to have it zoomed in pretty far so students can read. Of course, I'm on a page that doesn't really have much text, but let me just turn the page. Here's a bit more text. Um, so you might want to have it zoomed in pretty far and then just use the scroll bar to see the top and bottom. So the best way for you to navigate through these pages, there's two different ways really. Um, you can use the arrow keys to turn the pages one spread at a time. I'm just clicking forward, forward, and it's just turning through the pages. Or you can use those uh, folders over on the left that I showed you a minute ago to jump directly to wherever it is that you want to go. So maybe I want to go to this page, Mon Projet, and it just takes me directly there. So as I, I'm just going to go back to where I was. As I scroll through these pages, I do want to point out a few things that we've done um, because they're digital. So the first thing we've done is whenever you see a graphic text like the page I'm on right now, which is, you know, a story, a graphic text, if you turn it back one page, I use the back arrow, you can see that we've provided the same graphic text, but without words, a wordless text for these graphic texts. So teachers can choose how they might want to use this or may they maybe choose not to use it at all that's completely up to you but we're providing it here in the digital version of this of the uh, modules not in the print versions so we have wordless texts um the other thing i wanted to point out to you is that we've embedded content directly on these pages uh, digital digital content so you can see where my mouse is pointing out right now we've got these icons on the pages. So the different icons that we've embedded represent different bits of content. So this one, for example, is a play button where my mouse is hovering on these gray play icons. And so this is a read aloud of the text. So I'll just click it. Oh, I forgot to set up my audio. Sorry, just give me one minute to properly share my audio with you. Okay, I think this is going to work. I hope it's going to work. Um, I'm j I'll just press play. Je regarde bien. So I'm hoping that you heard the audio of the page. Je regarde bien. Je regarde les images. J'utilise des gestes. 
So all of these paragraphs J'aime le bleu. have a, a play button, which means you can listen to the text. So as a teacher, you can project this and play this in front of your class. Going forward, if you purchase digital access for your students, they at home or in the library or in their classroom, wherever they log in, they also can press play and hear the text read aloud. So that's one of the items that we've embedded. I'm just going to go right back to the beginning of module one and show you a few more icons. Explore. Okay, so there's also this uh, audio icon here that's hovering uh, right next to the um, title. This is a listening activity that's different from a read aloud of the text. And this page doesn't really have any text for read aloud anyway, but we do have a listening activity. So I'll just play it. Ma classe et moi. Explorons. Bonjour. Partie A. J'écoute bien. J'identifie les mots familiers. Okay, so this is a listening activity where the students are invited to listen for les mots familiers, so familiar words. So they're, they're going to be listening to some audio passages and, you know, the instruction is listen carefully and see if you can identify any les mots familiers that you already know and that you recognize. So typically our uh, listening activities uh, come with a line master and I'm just going to show you now where you find all of your teacher content, including the line masters. So I'm just going to close that. I'm going to open up the left-hand folders again. And the, the top folders represent the modules. But then we have other folders here on the left as well. So we have the Guide de démarrage. So that's your getting started guide. So in here, we have information on using this e-guide. We call it an e-guide. It's an e-teacher guide. So we have some help documents here on how to use this online e-guide. We also have, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm missing the teacher material. I'm sorry, I'm not logged in properly. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm very sorry. The teacher material is normally sitting here in a folder called Coin de l'Enseignant, but I've, I've logged into the, uh, to the student site, so the teacher material is not showing up. But there is a folder for the teachers here called uh, um, Coin de l'Enseignant. And that's where we put your teacher lesson plans and your line masters. Um, sorry about that. Okay, it's Leanne here. Are you logged Hi, into Leanne. the student account right now then? So I think I am. I'm not sure why the teacher guide is not showing up, but that's where it would be. So one of the questions uh, that has come up, and I know of, as we're supporting uh, uh, teachers with home learning right now, uh, when you go back to the multimedia file, mm -hmm. uh, if I'm a school and I've purchased the digital access, can I share uh, just some of the videos or just some of the songs uh, used by a Google Classroom, or am I only sharing the link to the actual book that the student would then have to go to the page that it's on? Yeah, so that's a great question. Thank you for asking it. Um, so it's the content that's provided here in this platform cannot be removed from this platform. So the videos, the songs, uh, the listening activities, the read aloud, all of those little pieces of digital media have to stay in this title, in this book. They don't, you cannot just send a link to just the listening activity. Students need to have their own access. They need to log in. And through Google Classroom, you can help them navigate. You can send them instructions. Please turn to page three. Please listen to the listening activity or listen to the song or whatever. Um, but you can't send direct links that way. So we have another question. Uh, can they send black line masters to students? Yes. Yep. These are, yep. So the black line masters are typically our Word documents. So when you open it, you're opening Word. You can save that, download it to your computer, save it. You can make changes to it because it's a Word document if you, if you choose. And that can definitely be shared through Google Classroom. It's a Word document like any other Word document that you've ever opened. So yes.
Okay, I'm going to keep going. Please jump in anytime with questions. This is great. This is very good. So these, so uh, we've looked at the um, audio, the read aloud icon. We've looked at the listening activity icon. I'm just going to scroll through the pages. Here's a, a graphic text with uh, no text. Here's the same graphic text with the text. Um, We'll just scroll to the bottom. I'm just going to, there's a, if we go forward a few more pages, I'll show you a video. So this, um, this module does have a video that comes with it. I'm just scrolling to find, I forget what page it's on, but it's here, here we are. Didn't take too long. So this is a video. Uh, you can see the video icon here where my mouse is hovering. Je présente mes amis. So Pearson has shot, has, has recorded some videos in Canadian classrooms. Um, of the five modules, four of them have videos. So this is one of them. So I'll just click it. A new window opens with the video player in it. I'll just play it for a minute and show you a couple of quick things with our video player. So this is Je me présente, where the students are presenting themselves, their name, their favorite color, etc. So I'll just pause it. So there's two things I do want to show you about our videos. We do have this speed button here where my mouse is hovering. So you can speed up or slow down the playback. Uh, which is super helpful, specifically slowing it down. I mean, I, I've never met anyone who ever wants to speed it up, but lots of students and lots of parents are requesting, can you please slow this down? So you, you do have that ability. Teachers have this ability when they're projecting it. And if you buy digital access for your students, then students have this ability uh, when, they are, uh, when they're logged in. And the other thing is the CC button here that I did want to show you. That's closed captioning. So if you click it, and right now it's set to off, but if I click it to Francais and I press play, then anytime audio is spoken in these videos, then you get the closed captions, the words, the words show up. So let me just play it for another minute. Bonjour, je m'appelle Stéphanie, j'ai 10 ans. Hola, mi amo Jaden, yo tengo 10 años. So this, this uh, video is all about students speaking in, uh, you know, if they know another language other than English or, or French, they're more than welcome to speak in, their, in that language, or they speak in French um, in the video. So, and they're presenting themselves, they're, they're talking about their favorite pastimes and things like that. So the, the closed captionings and the speed, uh, the speed button here is super helpful when it comes to learning a second language when you're watching a video in a language that's not your first language. So I'm just going to leave that open. I'll go back to our e-text. So that was an example of the video icons. Um, I that's pretty much what I wanted to show you when it comes to ICO Pro. So uh, the pages are always have a look to see what icons are on the pages. Here's a song. There's a song icon. So this module also has a song. I guess I can play that. Let's have a quick. The lyrics to the song are on the next page. Yeah. Very long intro. Sorry, I just want to get, get it to the lyrics. So as a teacher, again, you can be projecting this page with the lyrics or students, if you've purchased the printed modules, of course, in class, they can have the modules open on their desk and there's the lyrics on their page and you can uh, play the song and they can uh, follow along. So um, that pretty much covers, so all of our Echo Pro modules, one, two, I mean, Echo Pro levels, one, two, and three are presented using this same platform. Um, does anyone have any questions about EcoPro before we move over to Mon Réseau Ma Vie, which is grade 7 and 8? Haley, I'll rely on you to uh, let me know if there's questions. Uh, yeah, I'm going to ask a quick question. Yeah. Can you just clarify 
what um, access is available, what open access is available, um, mm -hmm. and what uh, listening activities, uh, just so that teachers know what it is they need to purchase and what we've opened access to right now. Yeah, I can definitely clarify that. So what's available free open access to students, well, and teachers, quite frankly, anybody who wants it, is PDFs of these student modules. So that's available through our, through our website. You click on the first link here that says open access to PDF versions. It takes you to our partner, Cavuto, um, and you can scroll, you can use the grades or the uh, subjects to find what it is you're looking for. Students need to register, so they create a username and password, and then they purchase, which is free, purchase for zero dollars, any and all titles that they want. Then they come back here, they log in, they have access to their titles. So it's PDFs. These, uh, these are strictly PDFs, so they're yes. not going to have access to the digital content, the songs and uh, exactly. audio. Exactly. That, that is available. Th that's available through purchasing. Yeah, which I believe, Haley, I think you're going to follow up with purchase information in an email after today. Absolutely, I can. Um, I can do that. Absolutely. Yeah. Any other questions about EcoPro? No, I think we can move on to Mont Roseau Marie. Great. Okay. Perfect. So I'm just going to leave all these windows open. And I think one of them that I have open here is Mont Roseau. Here it is. Oh, I haven't quite opened it yet. Sorry. Um, let me just get to the M's. Sorry, this is my employee bookshelf, which is full of texts. <laughs> uh, M. Here we are. Okay, so I'm going to open Morizo V1, level 1, which is grade 7. And again, uh, you should, it, it'll be familiar to you now because it uses the same platform as Echo Pro. And so Morizo V1 and 2 are presented using this same platform. So it should be somewhat familiar. Uh, so you'll see here the pages will, of Morizo V1 will load here in this main part of the window. And over on the left, we have folders. So the first folder shows you that Morizo V1 has four modules. On est en forme, on est capable. On part à l'aventure and on se débrouille. So these are the four modules that come with level one and they're included here in your teacher login. We also have on the left folders guide de démarrage. So again, that's the getting started guide. So we have information about using the e-guide uh, and some help documents. And here, okay, we do finally have, sorry that it wasn't showing in a, the Echo Pro uh, title that I just showed you, but this is Le Coin de l'Enseignant. This is the teacher's corner. So this is where teachers find their overview to the program, which is the pedagogy and the background information about assessment and planning and all of the information that, that goes into the building of this program. We give you access to the teacher notes for all of the lessons. These are all of your lesson plans. Here are les fiches. These are your line masters. Les fiches d'évaluation and les fiches d'activité. And we give you the answer keys as well. So this is where you have um, all of your information for the whole program. I am going to show you where you can obtain access to your teacher content lesson by lesson, uh, page by page. So if you're the type of person that doesn't want everything up front, you just want page by page, then I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's jump in. I'll just use the arrow key to start turning the pages. We're in the first module, On est en forme. I'll flip it over to two page view and we'll get started. So what you see here again is two pages left and right. This is now grade seven. And I'll just scroll through a first few pages. Again, you can see this is a graphic text. We provide you with the wordless text first. And then we provide you with the worded text. So anytime, again, anytime there's a uh, graphic text, we give you two options. And as I'm scrolling here, you can see we have all different types of text. We have graphic texts. We have what you're seeing here. These are menus. These are authentic texts. 
uh, some text messaging, some SMS cell phone text messaging, uh, some more menus. Um, this is a strategy, a, um, like a support page pour communiquer. So we give students some sentence starters and phrases and reminders to help them with their communication. So all different types of texts. As I'm scrolling, there's another graphic text with no words and then the graphic text, the same one with words. So while we're here, I'm going to go back to the start and actually point out some of the features that we've embedded on the pages. So let me just get set up at the beginning here. So there we are. Sorry, there's the first spread. So again, we've taken icons and we've embedded them on the pages. So you can see here where my mouse is hovering. There's two speakers. So this icon represents a listening activity at this grade level. So this is similar to the listening activities in the in the previous one that we showed. You click it, it plays. Mes collations préférées. Ah, moi c'est Steven. J'ai des activités après l'école tous les jours. Une barre de céréales est une bonne collation. Okay, so I'll just pause it there. So this is an, an activity where the students are listening to the script and they're looking at the pages. So you can see that this, he was talking about he has uh, after school activities and he likes to eat cereal bars and his name is Steven. So, you know, students are asked to guess who is who. So obviously this kid, this number seven is Steven. Um, so the whole point of this is to listen for words they're familiar with. Again, les mots familiers. So they'll hear les fruits, uh, they'll hear le maïs soufflé, so uh, les légumes. So these are things, this, this is a, a listening activity based around les mots familiers as well. Um, and again, there are typically line masters that go with our listening activities. But here's the, here's the neat part for teachers in this um, program is down here at the bottom. So I've just scrolled to the bottom of the page. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see a bit better. There are always on every page three icons at the bottom for teachers. So if you purchase digital access for yourself, um, you will have access to these three teacher icons. If you purchase digital access for your students, they will not see these icons. They'll only see the icons at the top of the page, listening activities or games or, or uh, videos for students. But down here at the bottom, we have teaching notes. So if you click the notes icon, a PDF document opens up and I can see that this is teaching notes for lessons one, two, and three, referring to student book pages four and five. So th this is where you find your teacher material that is lesson by lesson instead of the whole program all at once, which was in the left-hand folder. So here's a quick look at a lesson plan for, uh, for Mon Réseau Ma Vie. So these are, this, this lesson plan covers three lessons, one, two, and three. We always start off with the success criteria, je peux, the I can statements. Uh, the communication focus for these lessons is expressing a snack preference. And we give you a bit of information here about assessment. And then we get right into the lesson plan itself. So the lesson is divided into three parts, which is minds on, that's sort of the before. So this is having students make a prediction, doing a picture walk. Then we have the action section, which is dur the during section. So this one has a, the listening activity. You can see the icon here in the margin. So this is where the listening activity would come in. We give you the script for the listening activity. And then lastly, the after, the consolidation. So this is where, for the first time, you're bringing up the performance task. So students examine the task, the task for context A, referring to student book page three, read aloud the description, and adding gestures as necessary to aid understanding. So this is just a typical example of a lesson plan. And they're all here for lessons one, two, and three. I'll just close that and remind you that I found that here in the teaching icon called Notes. The next icon for teachers is Les Diapo. These are slides. So I'm going to click it. A PowerPoint file 
um, will open. Well, it, it downloads to my computer. I click it to open it. It'll just take a second. So we've gone through the step of creating PowerPoints for teachers because we heard that teachers spend a fair bit of time making PowerPoints. So we thought if we could save you some time. So we went through every lesson and every step of the lesson and we decided, well, what would be helpful for teachers at this point? So the PowerPoint slides start with the I can statements, the success criteria that you're encouraged to go through together with your students. And of course, because this is PowerPoint, you can make changes to these at any time and save it to your own computer. Then we've given you some strategy slides here. So here is je fais des prédictions. Qu'est-ce que tu vois? Je vois des bananes, etc. Another strategy here is uh, j'utilise des mots familiers. We've given some question and answer starters here, so to pour faire un sondage. I can see here that we've given some maps for the lesson. So at some point in the lesson, we're talking about les pays francophones, les régions francophones, and we're talking about les Antilles, the Antilles. So instead of you having to go to Google, spend some time finding maps that are appropriate, we've made them for you. So all you need to do is download, I'll just go back to our e-text here. All you need to do is download the slideshow and use that throughout your lesson. And then last here for teachers is les fiches. So these are the line masters that go with lessons one, two, and three. So I'm going to click it and a Word document opens up. Oh, sorry, this is a PDF. A PDF document opens. So from here, you can save this to your computer. You can print them off. You can email them to students. You can send them through Google Classroom. These are PDFs uh, like any other PDF document. So these are the uh, les fiches d'activité that go with these lessons. So here's the collation fiches d'activité 1. I can see fiches d'activité 2. Trois, quatre, and then we have les fiches d'évaluation. So here is un grille d'observation. So everything that you need, fiche d'évaluation de, everything that you need for these lessons is provided using the icons on the pages. Teacher icons at the bottom, student icons at the top. Listening activities on this page. Let me just zoom out, turn the page, and we can see now this is a whole new lesson. And there are new student icons at the top. Listening activity, at the, so this is a new listening activity for this lesson. This is a video icon, so I'll click it. You'll see that it opens in its own window and it's the same player that I've already showed you with the speed button and the closed captioning. <laughs> Il fait chaud, j'ai soif. On s'achète une boisson rafraîchissante? Oui, allons chez Peu Delice. So, again, these are videos that we uh, recorded. We shot them in, in Canadian classrooms using Canadian students. Um, we Again, you have the ability to speed up the playback or slow down the playback. And, of course, you can turn on the captioning. Uh, it, it's defaulting to off every time, so you just have to um, select Francais and the captions will show up. Please, Chloe, as... say to pray, it is on beaucoup de choix. De... So these are, these are just built in supports for your students as they're interacting with this content. So that's the video icon. We also have these interactive games, interactive activities. I just clicked the icon, it opens in a new window. And here we have a variety of activities. We have drag and drop, fill in the blank, multiple choice, match up. So lots of different interactive um, options. So this particular one is a drag and drop where the students read the description and they decide which symbol goes best with each description and they can check their answers. Oh my gosh, I didn't even read them and I got them both right. <laughs> um, and I do like to advise everybody, always keep an eye on the bottom corner that tells you how many pages are included in this activity. So I often get emails from teachers saying that they love the activities and so do their students, but they're so short. But that to me means you haven't noticed that there's 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages in each activity. So always keep an eye down here at the bottom to see how many pages are included. So I'm just going to jump back to, so that was right here. That's the green icon for Activité Interactive. Then we have a culture capsule here. That's what that icon represents. So here, oh, this is where we talk about les Antilles. So qu'est-ce que les ados Antilles mangent? So, you know, what do teenagers in the Antilles eat? So it's just a quick little paragraph that teachers and students can read together. And it's a little snapshot of something related to the Francophone culture. So you'll find these embedded on the pages throughout the lessons. Not every page, not every lesson, but you'll find them using this culture icon. I have one more, oh, and I'll just scroll down to the bottom and show you that your three teacher icons, your teaching notes, your slides, and your line masters for these lessons are embedded here at the bottom. And I do have one more student icon to show you. It's on the next page. It's the light bulb icon, and this is a grammar um, video. It's a short little snapshot video. Mon réseau ma vie un. On est en fort. J'observe la langue et j'apprends la négation. As-tu la confiance nécessaire pour exprimer la négation? Voici des explications pour t'aider. J'aime la tomate. C'est une phrase affirmative. Je n'aime pas les... OK, so I'll just pause it there. So our program does not include whole lessons based around grammar. We don't provide grammar lessons. But we do know that students need grammar support. So we've provided these little mini lessons, these two minute videos, little snapshots of an, an element of grammar. So la négation, le passé composé, whatever it might be. Um, so students can watch this um, on, on their own or in class if you're projecting, but it's just a little two minute support. And lastly, the, um, I do want to show you that we do have um, read aloud of the pages as well at this level. You do need to click this icon here in the top toolbar, which turns on the audio mode. So when you turn it on, you now might be familiar, you saw these icons, these gray play icons in Echo Pro. They were automatically embedded on the page in Echo Pro 1, 2, and 3. But in grades seven and eight, you need to choose to have them on the page. You need to turn on the audio in the top toolbar, and then the icons appear, and every paragraph is read aloud. Un lait frappé. Vous avez envie d'un lait frappé fait avec de la crème glacée et. So that's everything. So for mon réseau, it's the same platform as Echo Pro. We've embedded the teacher content on each page down here at the bottom using these teacher icons, the teaching notes, the line masters, and the slides. We've embedded extra student content on the tops of the pages. We have listening activities. We have interactive games. We have grammar, mini lessons. We have listening activities and videos and culture. So that's all of the icons and as well a read aloud of the pages by turning on the audio mode. So let's see if there's questions. Um, I've covered everything I wanted to cover when it comes to the content. So Haley, <laughs> you're up. Are there any questions? Leanne has been uh, on point with uh, <laughs> answering uh, questions in the chat box. Uh, Great. Your presentation. However, I do want to um, just put in a request to those that are um, are on the webinar right now. If you haven't purchased access, but you want to demo a portion of um, the e-guide, please um, send me an email or even just in the chat box, please uh, uh, say whether or not you'd like to be sent um, a demo of that. Uh, this will be temporary, ac temporary access, so please um, do let me know if uh, you would like to be sent that. And if you'd like to be sent for Echo Pro or Mon Réseau Mavi. Um, 
Kelly, it's Leanne. Thank you so I, much. Yes, uh, thank you. You've been getting a lot of love for Mahorozova <laughs> V because the way the teacher guide is set up with the diapo and all the interactive content at point of use on each page. Um, I know Echo Pro is moving to the new platform. Is that what you showed us earlier or is that in the fall that it will look very similar to Mahorozova V? Yes, thanks, Leanne. I didn't, I didn't get into that, but I can. So I'll just jump back on my window. I, I just wanted to let people know because... Yes. Um, and you don't need to go into any further detail, Kelly. Just everyone who's listening, realize uh, Ma, uh, Echo Pro, you can see it looks a lot different than Mahrezo Ma V. Uh, Echo Pro was published first, and then when we came out with the grade 7 and 8 Mahrezo Ma V, our focus groups um, there told us a lot about what their needs were, but then we also realized that we could improve the platform. So now what we're doing is the Echo Pro platform will look very similar to the Mahrezoma V. Exactly. Uh, it will just be the right content for grade four, five, and six. That's exactly it. Yes. We're using the same, we will be, as of September, we'll be using the same platform for both. And the other thing I just want to clarify is, so the open access that you've been asking about, that was a response to COVID-19 where we put PDFs of all the titles onto our open platform. It is just PDFs. There's no audio or video. Yes. Uh, what Kelly has been showing you is the digital access for the teacher guide and for the students. Uh, that is typically purchased. Um, if you would like demo access to the teacher's guide right now, uh, please uh, note that in the chat. We save the chat and we can follow up with you uh, that you would like to have demo access to the teacher's guide. Uh, we can easily set you up with demo access. Uh, we cannot do that for students. So for students, it's just the PDFs. Um, and to be honest, uh, as we've been working with most schools for the past few years, uh, print has been the solution because as you know, learning a second language, ideally it's face to face in the classroom with you. We're all just now figuring out how to respond in this, uh, in this new era of home learning. Mm -hmm. Um, so at this point, maybe you want to consider buying the digital access for students, um, then you would have all the audio and the videos and all the interactive activities. Yep. I did want to jump in. Um, it's Kelly again. Um, I noticed when we when we first started our session today at the very beginning in the chat, there was a question from Jasmine. So uh, Jasmine, I hope you're still on the call on the on the webinar. Um, you had indicated that you were having some trouble getting several students are having trouble getting in uh, even after following the instructions to for your grade eight class. So we, uh, we will follow up with you individually, Jasmine. I will send you an email um, to find out exactly what the trouble is and we will get this sorted out very quickly and very easily once I know more about what the issues are. So we'll follow up offline. Um, Adele just asked a question about the overview, overview chart of all of the modules. Uh, yes, we do have that. What we'll do, yes. we will automatically send that in a follow-up um, email to you. Uh, we've created a framework, a framework for every single uh, grade level. Uh, we'll be sure to include that with the follow-up email to you. We'll also be sending uh, pricing as well, uh, since that seems to be um, a common question. Uh, so I will be sending pricing on that as well. Great. And Jackie, I just noticed your question about pricing. You were asking specifically about Clay for Echo Pro. So Clay is the old platform for Echo Pro that we are no longer selling. We are selling eText or eGuide, which is the same as the Mohenzo platform. So EcoPro is moving off of Clay and we, we are no longer selling that platform. Um, uh, Rosanna, yeah. you had asked for those, uh, and I just, I know you asked me privately, but I just want to point it out to everyone else. Um, for those of you who have purchased the teacher's resource and are using Clay, you will automatically be switched over to the new platform. We will be reaching out to you on how to make that transition and you will be supported. So Jackie, I know you mentioned you were using Clay. We will be providing the support to switch you over this fall. Yes. And Leah, do you see um, Adele has mentioned the TDSB library, uh, hopefully making a central purchase. I'm not sure. 
um, uh, yeah, I know that the, um, they have like a lending library where oftentimes they purchase resources to lend them out. Um, so yeah, if you're putting in that request, that's great. And then you can always, I think, get them on loan. Um, typically, TDSB does not purchase centrally. <laughs> I think you all know that. So they make the decision based on uh, individual schools and individual school budgets. Um, but every once in a while, there's extra funding for resources and out of the blue things will be purchased. Um, so it's always a possibility. But for now, I think it's up to each individual school. Uh, uh, please, if you're, if you're new to your school and you're new to teaching the FSL program in your school, uh, feel free to also mention your school's name in the chat because your school may have purchased access um, that you're you're not aware of and we can look that up too. So if you want to also include your school's name, um, that way we can also look that up for you if you'd like. I see a comment here from Jackie Armstrong. Um, that you have purchased EcoPro in the past and you're not sure uh, you need to know how to make sure that your students can get access. So Jackie will follow, this is Jackie Armstrong, I noticed there's two Jackies on our call. Um, we'll follow up with you to see uh, what your school purchased specifically and uh, tell you how to get your students in, uh, to how to get your student access if that's what your school has purchased. And we'll be sure to make that part of our follow-up communication with all of you as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you so much, Kelly. Um, we appreciate you doing this. For all of you, uh, when you purchase Montrezo Mavi, Echo Pro, the digital access, etc., uh, Kelly, we like to say Kelly comes along with the purchase. She provides <laughs> yeah. support walkthroughs, answers any questions. Uh, we always want to ensure that uh, when you're using our resources, you have access, success. Um, so uh, she uh, knows this resource inside and out and can provide any follow-up support. So Kelly, thank you so much for this. You're uh, welcome. Any other questions, feel free to put them in the chat. Uh, otherwise, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, all the best to all of you. I know uh, how challenging and intense this time is. So thank you for all the hard work that you're doing and um, maybe get out and enjoy a bit of sunshine today. I see that yeah. there's actually sun today. I haven't been out, yes, but. <laughs> I know, I see it too through my window. <laughs> so thank you everyone for joining us today.